Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American expat. Now we've made some videos about this topic before, whether or not you should use a small, lightweight mobile phone, smartphone to do vlogging stuff, or whether you should use a big, heavy camera with interchangeable lenses. And I thought, you know what, that uh, that was kind of incomplete because I'd compared the, uh, the A7 IV to the iPhone but never to the, the Galaxy S23 Ultra that I've also got. And today we're going to remedy that by going out to see which one is better, if it's really worth it to have a full frame camera, or if all you need is one of these, the iPhone 13 Pro Max, or this Galaxy S23 Ultra 5G, or just the, uh, the A7 IV that I'm recording with now, combined with a giant heavy gimbal and heavy lenses and all of that sort of stuff. So I am driving out to the local park, high above the park, I mean, in the hills and the forest, since today is a cold day, I figured, you know, that's a good opportunity to, to go out and do outside stuff when there's snowflakes coming down in spring. Actually, it's because there's nobody there. <laughs> you know, it, it, as, even though I'm used to it at this point, going out and recording myself in front of people, and, you know, people look or they ask questions and maybe you feel a little bit embarrassed. But um, I've gotten used to that. But at the same time, if I can avoid it, I will, right? I, I don't need people coming up and asking me about, uh, hey, well, what is that uh, that camera you've got there with the microphone? Are you like professional or something? Like, no, professionals have real stuff. I only have this stuff. But anyway, we're going to go test this out, all three of them, to see whether you know you really need this full frame camera setup to be doing the vlog stuff and remember vlogging it it's like uh when you hold the camera up in your arm and uh, make that universal symbol the v shape with your arm and your body for making videos of that style typically outside i guess you could do it inside at the mall but the, the security will probably just the same we're driving out to the park again high above the park in the hills and the forest away from everybody to test this out. So let's see what it's all about. Uh, so here we are, vlogging with this contraption, the A7 IV on a gimbal. I mean, this is pretty heavy on the arm. I, uh, I mean, that doesn't, I hope, translate into the video itself. But, you know, the camera itself is heavy. Then you add this giant lens, this uh, zoom lens that I've got in, and uh, then the weight of this gimbal that's made of gunmetal. Yeah. <laughs> It's a little much to, I mean, I'm just barely walking along here. I can't imagine if you were doing this for any real length of time, what that would be like. Well, actually I can because I've done it before. Does it, uh, does the video quality justify all this weight? Or I, I don't think it does. I mean, if you're doing a vlog, nobody really cares about, I mean, to some degree, sure they care about the video quality. But uh, to be honest with you, I don't think that they care about it that much that you shouldn't use a cell phone or a mobile phone or however you want to say it, smartphone, to make the recording. I guess the one nice thing about the gimbal is it's got the stand. So we'll walk over here. Let's see how it works, if it's tall enough if I sit down on the bench. We were here the other day with the iPhone. Now we're trying this. Ooh, suddenly went dark. Unlike the, uh, the phone, I guess I could set this on manual mode. We'll just adjust that a little bit. Ha, now you can see me. Okay, we'll put this little stand up. Ooh, not there. I don't know what that is on that, uh, that table, but I'm not gonna put my camera thing on there. Okay, ha, there we are. And adjust this up a little bit. Yeah, hands-free. Got the uh, thing, I'm totally overexposed. So let's uh, fix that. It's kind of cold. Oh, that's icy. You gotta be careful. I might think it's exposing for 
what's behind me. It's pretty cold out here today. You know, we had temperatures in the mid 70s and now today it's snowing. There's a little snow flurries coming down. Pretty cold. What do you think? Is this better than the phone? I mean, now we're on the uh, Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, whatever it is, the, the big one. It's got all these camera lenses on the back. You can switch it up. It's kind of nice with this, you know. You have all the lenses built in, so you can just kind of switch. Like, just a moment here, I'll switch it around. Whoa, now I'm totally zoomed in. I don't know what that's gonna look like. There you go, uh, telephoto, ultra telephoto. I don't know what that's gonna look, that's gonna look terrible. Wide angle, very ultra wide. So you can really see me now. A lot of stuff around me. And I'm just back to normal. There's no screen on the back. Did you see the, the camera, I could flip the thing around and I could see what I was doing. I guess you could do that if you wanted to use the selfie camera. Don't use the selfie camera to record yourself for a vlog. That's, that's not a good idea. I mean, the, you know, resolution is terrible. It defeats the whole purpose. This gives you all the nice lenses and stuff to use. It's got, uh, I, at least I think, it's got some stabilization built in. Should look pretty good. I think that um, cell phone, I guess the complaint that people make is that it's over-processed. You look a little too sharp or something. And I mean, what do you expect? It's got a teeny tiny sensor on it when compared to, you know, a full frame camera like what we were using before. But for vlogging, I can tell you, holding this phone up, I could do this for quite a while, especially if I had, you know, a little stick or something, a selfie stick. Yeah, I could walk along doing this forever. Not heavy at all, not like that camera and the contraption it was on. That was ridiculous. But the question for you, is the quality good enough? Do we look better on the big camera? I'm, I'm sure we look better on the big camera, but is it that much different to where you feel like this is unusable? I don't think so. And how does the S23 Ultra compare with this iPhone 13 Pro, no, yes, 13 Pro Max? I think it's a 13 Pro Max. Of course it's a 13 Pro Max. How does it compare? Of course, I'm not using cinema mode on this phone because uh, with this one, I guess the next one could do 4K in cinema mode, but this one couldn't. This is definitely easier for vlogging, the phone I mean. I, uh, I don't know how the picture quality compares with the S23 Ultra. Some people say the iPhone is better anyway. I don't know. I've had difficulty working with the, uh, the videos that come out of the iPhone in the past. But I guess that's all changed with the 15 Pro Max. It's designed with people doing this sort of thing in mind. But uh, yeah, I think the phone is definitely the way to go if you're gonna be vlogging. We've confirmed it yet again. It's just a matter of, well, okay, it's your preference. If you wanna carry around the big camera to look better, by all means. But uh, the phone works pretty good. Well, you've seen the footage at this point and so have I. I think that I can come to some pretty definite conclusions based on uh, the performance of the various cameras, if you wanna call them that. I think one very obvious conclusion is that the Galaxy S23 Ultra is vastly superior to anything the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I mean, I, I know the iPhone is like two generations ahead of that now and the iPhone 15 Pro Max Titanium, whatever it is, it can do ProRes RAW and it's got, you know, it can do log footage and all of that stuff. But, uh, you know, if I was looking at that, I would say, yeah, the, you know, the Galaxy S23 Ultra, it performed a little better than I was expecting. I was, you know, I've used Samsungs before in the past and they've always done better than the iPhone because the iPhone, I don't know what it is. I, maybe the, uh, the sensor is terrible in the iPhone or something. I, I know they usually have a worse camera than what's in the, uh, I mean, s s just looking strictly at the specs, usually it's worse than what's in the Samsung. But um, yeah, I, I've noticed that when I've tried to do things with the video itself, the iPhone stuff just falls apart. I, I don't know what happens or what kind of weird file it is, but uh, that has proven to be the case yet again with the S23 Ultra. Um, like I said, I know they've got, you know, better stuff now, but um, 
When I do stuff with the footage from the, uh, the S23 Ultra, it doesn't fall apart. I can make it look all right. I mean, it's not as good as, you know, coming out of the S, or the, the Galaxy, no, not Galaxy, the Sony a7 IV, the actual camera. But uh, the iPhone, I couldn't do anything with that footage. I mean, I got it to look a little better than what it did. And I, think about that. I got it to look a little better than what it did right out of the phone. So that was, it was, it was pretty bad. It looks all washed out. As soon as you try to do something with it, it falls apart. It just, uh, yeah, it, it looked terrible. I don't know what they were thinking. Even if it's like processing stuff, what have they, I mean, I don't even know what it's doing. I'm not using the cinema mode. I'm, I, so I don't know, maybe it's just really, really terrible. Um, but that's what it came up with. I don't know, I'll have to get my hands on one of those uh, titanium iPhone 15 Pro things, Pro Max, do they still call it the Pro Max at this point? To see what it can do, but uh, right now I'm gonna say the Samsung is, well, it, it's better. I don't even know, you know, the S24 Ultra's out. Maybe, I've, I, I've heard, you know, like they went the direction of like AI and iPhone is like, oh, we're gonna up our camera game. So maybe, maybe so. I'll have to look into that and see, but uh, yeah, I you know I, I will say this too. You know, if you're going to use the phone, it's definitely easier to use than carrying that camera around with the gimbal, as you saw. And that gets really, really heavy and tiresome quickly. I can't imagine going on like, oh, let's go on a stroll through the city with this thing. Probably not going to be a very fun experience. But the phone, you know, you get yourself a little selfie stick, a tripod of some kind that you can hold on to. So you don't have to like hold your hand all the way out there and you're good to go. I mean, no problem. Get that uh, Galaxy S23. I think the uh, S21 or anything below that is probably all right too. I mean, as long as you don't go too far back, should have a high enough bit rate and look all right. Um, if you have an iPhone, I mean, it's, it's I, I, as much as I complain about it, it, it it'll work. It'll do the job. I mean, if you've got nothing else, I'm not saying like, go spend a thousand, three thousand, or however much it is to get a camera or something or another phone. It'll work. It'll do the job. It'll be good enough. No one's gonna complain. The audio might be a little bit uh, goofy. That was another place where I saw definite advantages with the Samsung. That was the audio from the speaker, or the, not the speaker, the microphone in those phones. So if you hear it, it sounds all right. I think personally, the, the sound that I was hearing coming out of that uh, Samsung was a bit better. I, I'm saying that grudgingly because I've already turned my heart away from Samsung based on uh, my experiences with the phone that I have now, but the camera is better than that iPhone 13. Um, I, I, I hope that if I were to get the iPhone 15, I wouldn't be disappointed. But uh, then again, I don't get the, the phone for the purpose of the camera. I, I have a camera for that, if that makes sense. All right, anyway, I'm gonna end this and go get my son because he's waiting for me. Uh, hopefully that was helpful for you guys too. You'll have to let me know what you think. Am I, am I right in my judgments here about these phones? I think the one is better. I don't know, we'll have to see. I'll see you guys in the next one.